Hey there guys, Van Knights here, and welcome back to another Booga Booga video. Now, I know people are going to be like, where's Superpower Training Simulator? You haven't uploaded in a few days. Well, I'm going to be uploading some more this week. There's apparently going to be a Halloween update. I'll go over that whenever that comes out and show all the new features for that. I've uh, just been waiting for that, and there's also some really cool updates coming out for that game soon. So I've mostly been waiting for those updates to drop. I, I Besides that, I don't really know what to do on the game at the moment, so I'm just waiting for the new updates. Um, so today, though, we have some new information for Booga Booga. Now, Booga Booga, again, is something we've all been waiting for for updates for a long time. So I'm going to run down some of the new features and things that Soybean has shown us today and give you guys some more information on these updates. We actually have a release date now for when these updates are going to drop, a beta testing date, all this other stuff. So we're going to go ahead and get into it in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. So first off, we're going to read this announcement that was actually posted a few days ago. And he says, this is a question that was a, lot, a lot of people were asking, will the data be white for the next event? And he says, no, the new map will have a separate data from the main Booga game. Data will not transfer to the new map, but it's not being erased from the old map. You'll be able to choose which map you want to play. So this is for all the people that were wondering if their mojo is going to be wiped and all that other stuff. Your mojo won't be wiped. You can still use it on the old map, but there is going to be a new map. So if you're going to play that new map, you won't have any of your data. You'll have to start fresh on the new map. Although the new map is going to have a bunch of new features and new content, and it's going to be really cool. So I really recommend giving the new map a try. Even if you're not going to have all your stuff, you're going to really want to give this new map a try. And we're going to show you those features in just a second. So the official update is actually going to drop on November 28th. So that's a month from today. And that's... It, it's, it's still a good bit away. But I mean, at least we have a release date for it now. We're going to be getting these updates on November 28th, but he does say, however, there'll be a beta testing starting in two weeks now. And he hasn't said if the beta testing is going to be just for the admins and the moderators or if it's going to be for like paid access or anything like that. He hasn't specified that yet. We are going to be getting some kind of beta testing in two weeks. And if it is like a paid access type thing, I'll definitely pay for that and I'll record it and I'll get you guys some videos on the new stuff before it drops for the main game and i'll be able to check all that out for you guys and all that kind of stuff so about around two weeks is when we're actually going to finally see the beta testing for this new map or new game or whatever we don't even i guess it's like a new map yeah so we're going to see all that in about two weeks now besides that we have some information in this update log with some new images and pictures and all this kind of stuff and so we're going to go ahead and get into this and these are some new features that are going to be added and he's going to constantly be updating this update log section in the booga booga discord if you're in it you can at least check this update log and you can see what new features he's adding. So all you got to do is just go over to the update log and bam, here are the new features. So anyways, he said this new update, this new channel is the update log and he'll be updating this with progress made every few hours. So the first thing we can see here is we have a bird and it looks really detailed. It looks really nice compared to some of the animals on Booga. This thing actually looks like an animal because, you know, the other animals on Booga are just like a brick with like four legs and it looks, they look kind of dumb some of them but this bird actually looks really nice and detailed and it looks really cool you can see some of the the new map in the background with the new trees and everything like that and so he says these birds will actually fly around the map so that's going to be really cool to see these things actually flying around and now that he's going to have the new ai system they'll probably have pathways that they'll fly around the map on and all that and they they will drop meat and that's really it so i mean they're just more like a atmospheric kind of addition to the game and you can actually shoot them down with a bow so if you have a bow or something you can go ahead and shoot these things down it'll drop some meat for you so you know just a new animal you can hunt but it's still really cool that we're going to be able to see birds flying around the game now that's going to add you know kind of some more detail to the game make it feel a little more a little more alive so that's pretty cool uh we also have some mounted ballistas and cannons coming out so as you can see here he has a test dummy on it but we have a cannon in the background here and you'll be able to sit on these and shoot them these will shoot arrows of course and the cannons will probably shoot cannonballs i don't know if you have to craft the cannonballs i'm assuming you probably would but if you don't i mean that might be a little op i guess we'll see how they work but you will definitely be able to use these two things put them in your base and defend your base with these new two items and that's going to be really cool and it says here they have a full 360 degree pivot unlimited ammo okay so that answers my question so they do have unlimited ammo that might be a little op but he does say it's a longish cooldown so once you shoot it you're gonna have some time that it's gonna have to cool down but that's still really cool though i'm really excited to see these two things these have been features that he's been talking about for a very long time and we'll finally actually be able to see them in the game so they're coming soon really excited for that and so it says here they're going to be used primarily for long range defense or sieges for like raids defend defending your base whatever and also there's going to be these new towers where they're actually going to have cannons and ballistas on them so you know now you can just put these next to your base 
and just climb up here and start firing away at people trying to raid your base. So that is, that's going to be really helpful to stop base raids. Also, you can mount these things onto carts and you can move the carts around. So if you want to, you can have someone, I guess, I guess this might be like a two person thing. One person pulls it and the other person actually uses like the little little uh ballista or the cannon but that would be really cool to see just like uh, like just having like one of your teammates just sit there and pull the thing while you're just sitting on it shooting everyone getting kills and then getting a bunch of gear i think that's really cool it, it adds a little more to the game and uh, it'd be really fun to use these things in my opinion um we also do have some boats coming and these boats actually have cannons which this has been talked about for a long time so now you can have some boat battles and these will also be able to you can also use the cannons to shoot sharks so if there's some sharks coming close to the surface just hop on a cannon and fire away like, like at this this hammerhead shark to start firing at him so they'll be used for defense so i don't know if sharks will actually attack boats now i'm thinking they probably will so you might need to use these cannons and attack the sharks before they attack you so that'll be pretty cool we have grumpy boys which are the new sharks this one looks a little little creepy but uh that's okay and then we have like a hammerhead shark and another little guy back here Here's some new foliage and details that are going to be added to the map. Here's some new trees that we have. You can see the new map looks really, really nice. I really like it. It really looks like like an island kind of paradise kind of thing. I don't know. I, I just really like this new map. You can see the islands are more spread out. We got some nice little palm trees. It just looks... The ma new map looks really good. We also have, like, these ridges here. Here's, like, a little gif. You can see he's going under these, like, little ridges. There's, like, this little area down there you can build. A huge mountain kind of area. That looks really, really cool. I'm really excited for that. And we're also going to have some new caves, like as you can see here. And there's going to be some new cave systems. And down here, he actually says that the cave system, the cave systems are going to have some good rocks and good materials, I'm assuming. So you're going to be able to go down in these cave systems and actually find some good stuff. So it won't be like the old cave systems where you just, you know, there's just some whatever down there. It'll actually be like some good resources in some of these caves. So that'll be really nice to see. And we also have some features that are planned to be added, and that is Barbarian or Ant Tribe, so more NPCs to fight and attack and all that. Every single thing can be bought and sold with markets, which would be cool. So you could probably, I'm assuming he means like you can, you can buy and sell cosmetic items on there and stuff. You can establish trade routes with other tribes. Now I'm really excited to see that, because, you know, if you and another tribe, you, you got some resources that you want to hand to each other, whatever, you can now establish a trade route with each other now that is going to be amazing to see i'm really excited to see people using that now also with that being said there'll probably be some people some bandits and other people that are gonna find these trade routes and probably attack them and all that and i guess you'll probably i'm, I'm assuming maybe you'll be able to see like the trade routes or maybe something will just happen over time i don't really know but i'm, I'm really hoping you can actually like see like the trade routes happening and then you can like attack them and get stuff that'd be really cool uh, there's gonna be torches and thrown weapons so now you have lighting in your base you have thrown weapons and also with the the torches there's actually going to be a day and night cycle now so now that there's a day and night cycle the torches will be good to light up your base and it'll be cool i guess there's going to probably be dynamic lighting since it's going to be nighttime it's going to be dark and all that but that is really cool to see so that is pretty much all the features though that i have for you guys that's all soybeans posted at the moment but that's still a lot of features, and just seeing this, I feel like Booga is going to become a completely new game. It's going to be so much fun again, hopefully, and I hope this game actually brings the community back. I hope the community comes back to life after these updates, because I feel like this is going to make the game a lot of fun again. And I'm really excited to see how this is going to play out when it actually comes out and everything. And I'm really excited to see the beta testing in a few weeks and when it fully releases. Hopefully, this will revive the game. Hopefully, we'll get some new players back to it, and hopefully, the game will go back up on the games page. Because, you know, we, we all kind of miss the old Booga days where it used to be up there. It used to be fun. So hopefully we'll see some fun gameplay again and the game will go back to how it was. And I guess we just have to wait and see and trust Soybean. But uh, I guess, I mean, it's just a matter of time. We'll be seeing these updates very soon, though. And I'm definitely going to be covering these updates when they come out. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this update information video. I hope this video helps you guys out and gives you some more insight on what's coming to Booga. And, and I guess we'll have to see what those, what it's going to be like when it drops. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video and subscribe for some more Roblox and Booga Booga content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So, goodbye.